Crystal, thank you. Checking on Money Matters this morning, Microsoft's new Surface tablet can fit right into a purse. And federal investigators are looking into the CSX and Amtrak collision that happened in South Carolina. Yeah, Jane King is joining us now live from the NASDAQ with this morning's Money Matters reports. We begin, though, Jane, with Dow Futures. They're down this morning as President Trump promises those tougher tariffs on China. Uh that's right, Bruce and Jen. As soon as they were announced last night, we immediately saw stock futures go down. We've been up four days in a row, so uh, we're going to certainly look at a lower start today, about 200 points. So $200 billion in additional tariffs. This includes everything from refrigerators to handbags. So uh, the government held uh, some hearings and an investigation into that CSX okay. crash in South Carolina. What did they come up with? Uh, well, the short answer is no real conclusions. The NTSB did not rule on a probable cause or find <coughs> fault. It did probe CSX, Amtrak, and the Federal Railroad Administration about the procedures that were in place when the accident happened and what's been done to prevent another similar crash. It occurred in February. Two people were killed in that crash. Yeah, what a tragedy. One of them was local, actually. Mm -hmm. So, Jane, what is this about Facebook? Uh, specifically, it's going to chip in for users' birthday charities? Yes, you know, you've probably seen in your feed a lot of people raising money for a particular charity on their birthday. So Facebook now says it will donate $5 to every newly created fundraiser posted on a U.S. user's birthday. And the fundraiser must be one of the 750000 that has been vetted by Facebook, though, to be approved on its platform. So if you like small electronics, Microsoft's got something for you. Lighter, smaller, fit in your purse, huh? That's right. Uh, super convenient. It's pitching this $399 Surface Go tablet to students, business people, consumers who prize mobility over performance. Uh, you can watch Netflix on it and browse the Internet or get your business or homework done inside Microsoft Office. Everything seems to get smaller and smaller these days as technology <laughs> just gets better. All right. So, Jane, Amazon yeah. is giving Prime members kind of a bit of a head start ahead of Prime Day. How yes. so? You can kind of take a look, see what some of the deals are going to be. So to prepare for actual Prime Day, shoppers can preview the deals by downloading the Amazon app. And then through the app, you can add items to your shopping list, and they will notify you when the deals start. Uh, that sale, by the way, Monday, July 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's available to Prime members only. All right. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hey, you have a good yeah. day. Okay.